weather has been perfect. It's been nice, breezy, cool. And um, you know what? I end by saying this. Of course, we have the uh, panel discussion, but Singaporeans deserve better. We deserve better of our government. Thank you very much. Okay, I think a lot of Singaporeans would like to know whether Mr. Leong has been sued by PM Lee as a person or under the office of the Prime Minister. And if it is the latter, who is paying the cost? Uh, he is suing in his personal capacity. All right, so. The plaintiff in the original action is Lee Sien Long, and the defendant in the original action is Leong Zihian. As you know, Zihian has a counterclaim against the Prime Minister. So in that counterclaim, Leong Zihian is the plaintiff, and Lee Sien Long is the defendant. So since he's suing in his personal capacity, Lee Sien Long is suing his, in his personal capacity, theoretically, he will be responsible for his lawyer's fees. Now, I won't go into that because I do not know what is the arrangement there. Hi, I just want to congratulate Mr. Leong. I know it is just when he even reached the point, but just like, keep it up. I, this is a first landmark case, Singapore taking against the recent loan for defamation character. It's been going on for ages. You can't just sue anyone especially just for forward news. I do do a lot of forward. Who be the next victim? Me and all the lots of you who forward news. This shouldn't go on. And please, Mr. Lin Tian, keep up the good work in democracy, Singapore. Speech, freedom of expression. That's what we want. Uh, thank you, uh, Madam. Uh, a very inspiring uh, message. All right. We certainly will take note uh, of it. The question is for Mr. Lim Tian. Now, it's a hot issue right now. now more than uh, eight of our sons uh, of the nation have, been, have died in training in NS. And uh, um, it seems, I have read, that uh, no action can be taken against Bindef or the government for any negligence uh, on their part. Is that right? Yes. Sir, so you are correct in that. Unfortunately, there is a provision in the uh, government, I, I can't remember the title of the Act now, the Government Proceedings Act, Section 14, that says that, you know, uh, when uh, a soldier dies in training, and it applies only to the army, all right? When a soldier dies, you can't sue the government for negligence. So unfortunately, that is the position. I think previously there was another NS man uh, 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 who, who died and whose family took the um, government to court and they lost because of this provision. You know, one day we have to challenge this provision. I think one day we have to challenge the constitutionality of this provision because it certainly does not seem to me to accord with the constitutional provision that everyone is accorded equal protection under the constitution. I think there's a case there. If you, uh, Mr. Lim, sorry, Lim Tian, if you should get into parliament, could you bring this matter up and try to get it changed because our young boys are doing service for the nation and paying with their life and yet when negligence is involved the uh, parents, uh, uh, the family. Uh, family have no right to any uh, to sue for compensation. Thank you so much for that question. I certainly, if I get into parliament, will bring up this issue. I think it is high time this provision is done away with done away with. There is no reason why the government should be immune from legal action in such cases. I give you an example. 
until very recently, it was almost impossible to sue and succeed against the police in a jurisdiction like England. So if the English police were negligent and they caused hurt, caused damage, you couldn't sue them. And it was not because of any legal provision, it was because of a public policy consideration. Because the courts there felt that if anyone could sue the police, you know, then they would be inundated with lawsuits, all right? But very, very recently, a few months ago, the Supreme Court of England came down with two decisions that reversed that position. And so now, the police in England are liable for negligent suits. And I don't see why the position should be any different in Singapore. I'd like to ask one simple question on this uh, housing board ownership. I'm being uh, uh, the what, revenue office sent me a letter to ask me to pay the what, property tax by the end of this month. Then I was looking at it, I said, what property tax? Because I read in the paper that this property doesn't belong to me. And then I also got a deed or whatever document to show that I'm the owner. Then I asked the revenue office. Then they said they go to the housing board and ask, uh, whether I go to the area office or uh, housing board, uh, HQ, I don't know. But anyway, this is very interesting because every year I have to pay income tax. And also income tax, property tax. Sorry. Uh, now what I want to say is this. Um, today's rally from the crowd you can see it's very successful based on the past few rallies that we have had here. Now, in the run-up to the coming general election, I think it is wise for us with alternative voices to maintain the momentum. And we can still use the same abuse of process really because this is a subject which is universal in Singapore. So let's have it every month and let's grow this protest to filling up the home of Hong Lim Park and I want to see perhaps within the next six months we get 20,000 here and that will send a super message at, at every rally we should do a collection because it will show the support of the public for such activities. This is very important. We must send a strong message. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. uh, one last question, all right? One last, who want to do? Uh, okay, I'll uh, do it. Uh, okay, I'll do it. Uh, thank you. I'm sorry. 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 在中國回來一年半跟他四個朋友講慶祝六一真正祝你新加坡新年快樂為什麼真正祝你我們成立了四百多人生多年了這邊祝你我們的國家每個國家都有過意可是到現在還沒有過意我們華馬英印四種語言
，啊，那个一个很相当好的建议啊，但是啊，这这个问题有可能是我们要做一个全国的的 referendum 才才打算吧，我们还没有执政，啊，林先生还没有拿到什么政治的权利，所以建议是好，但是是否能够？就用华语跟国语啊，我们的国语作为呃通用的的语言呢，这个希望以后我们能够执政的时候才讲吧。What I'm is a basic thing about national service. Now you can you understand so many people, our sons have all suffered. And die for of a paranoid government, sick government thinking that people will attack us all the time. I think we are very angry for this stupid idea of national service. If Mr. Lim can get into into parliament, I will support him to stop his stupid NS, wasting two bloody fucking years of my son's time in the doing nothing, sitting down there. Okay, so please. Stop this and get bullshitting. Okay now. All right, you have heard that. Uh, okay. So, if you feel that uh, your son is not uh, making a useful contribution, go and see your MP. Right? Hey, what is my son wasting his time inside the uh, SAF, man? Yeah. No, we must register the point. I know it's no use. We must register the point. The, the point must be registered. Okay. Brothers, talk to your sisters, talk to your uncles, talk to your co-workers. Alright. Yes. And we would really like to hear what kind of uh, counter-argument. Can I say something? Can I say something? Can I say something? I'm, I'm, I'm quite bad person in the ring law. I'm a retired ring adjuster. And we know a lot about law. One thing you guys must know, the country is run by Lee Kuan Yew many years ago. The old laws must change. The stupid paranoia, defense, hello, hello. Malaysia will attack us all over. Can you please ask your question? Don't, don't make a speech. Yeah, sorry. Uh, on behalf of my comrades and uh, Mr. Lin Tian, we really thank you very much from the bottom of our heart that you have spent your time with us. Right. Go back, do not forget what you have heard here today, share and spread the word, spread the word. Okay. Thank you, thank you very much.